Hey, good morning. Oh, uh, yeah. It's 7.20. Leaving for work a tad later than I normally do. I don't start till late any, you know, so. Not taking any kits or any projects with me this morning. Uh, I was working on the RIV a little before I uh, uh, jumped in the truck here. I figure I'll make a little video here and some at work when I get there. Oh, damn. Leaving a little bit later makes a big difference in how much traffic is on the road in front of my house here. Uh, yeah, anyhow, so yeah, the Merc got done last night. <coughs> um, so now it's on to other projects. Um, I was looking at my group builds I'm in, and uh, I got my group builds too in my 10 by 11 10, which I don't think there's no way I'm going to get all 10 done by uh, November 10th. I'll probably maybe get half if I'm lucky. Uh, I only got two out of 10 done. So uh, I got those to mess with. I'm sorry for the shaky camera. This camera thing is not the tightest. Plus, I'm on a rough road right now on this little side street. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to finish up the RIV tonight. I'm probably going to cut some grass when I first get home because it's supposed to be dry finally because it's been gloomy. Uh, let's see here. But I get the RIV done tonight or tomorrow night by the time I you know, get that out of the way. Uh, my next group build that's due is December 28th, and that's for the uh, Snap Kit. I think uh, it's by Joey Collins. I don't remember if that's his YouTube thing or not. I'm going to have to look it up. I haven't seen any updates from anybody, so I'm not even sure if he's still there. But uh, I got, when I get to work, I'm probably going to get on YouTube and look it up and see how that's doing. Um, I thought I subscribed and followed him. Um, anyhow, yeah, so that's my uh, the GT40 snap kit, which is actually almost a glue kit, uh, the Polar Lights kit. It's in paint. I got a lot of the parts painted, but that's the next one that's due. And then literally a couple days later, it's the Blue Ox Street Machine. Let me get this camera a little better. Uh, the Blue Ox Street Machine, that's, that's my 68 Dart. i got to get back on that. Uh, then everything after that um, is like due, I think, March, May, June, July. So, but I don't want to lax on them too much because then I'll be doing what I did with the Merc, trying to finish up the last couple days and staying up till midnight. You know, it's, I didn't get to sleep till after midnight last night. And, you know, ugh. So yeah, um, that's where I'm at on that. Uh, so I gotta get my butt moving. Plus I got some gifts I wanna get done and you know, there's other things to do in life too besides models. Wait a minute, did I just say that? Uh, yeah, maybe I did. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm kind of at now. So hopefully uh, you should be seeing the RIV here another day or so. Like I said, I'm not going crazy on wiring on that. Oh. And the other thing I got going is uh, uh, bu -bu 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 on the uh, short track group build for uh, Jason at Blue Ox. I, I can't remember who else is hosting that one. Um, that's not until July. I think July 6th or something or July 4th. Um, at halfway point, uh, you're supposed to show where you're at. And that's November 1st. Is this uh, halfway? It's a year long group build. <sighs> <laughs> and um, anyhow, yeah, you're supposed to, and November 1st, you can do updates whenever, but you're supposed to do one on November 1st. And I've got some of the chassis built um, using one of those, uh, which of call them, uh, those asphalt racers. Um, I got some of the chassis barely built, the engines glued together, but I got to do details on it, and that's about as far as that's gotten. So, I got till November 1st to get advanced on that. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So just on the way to work here. Oh, I'm gonna be yawning all day. Holy crap, staying up that late. I mean, cause I got done a little bit after 11 and the video got uploaded before midnight. So yes, I did make the deadline. It was uploaded, at least in our time. Uh, Kim's time, not so much. They're six hours ahead of us. So yeah. <laughs> But I'm still in there, yeah, close enough. Uh, but and the Riv is not really a YouTube uh, group build; it's a uh, Facebook. Mm, excuse me again. Holy crap! This ain't gonna end today. Ugh. 
But anyhow, that's it for now. I'm going to uh, sh shut down. I'm going to add this to the video when I get to work. I'll show you what I am doing, the projects we got going, and I'll start my day. So I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Hey, good morning again. Uh, actually, I'll give you a little bit of my trip to work. Uh, this is Glenwood Avenue in Portland. And I'm heading south. Yep, this is what I see every day. Oh, excuse me again. Unless, of course, I hit Meyer or something on my way in, then I take a slightly different route. Uh, speaking of which, up ahead here, um, a mile or so, I got a detour because they're doing construction on the one road I always take. They've been doing construction for God knows how long now. And they're going to be doing construction for how long? They're widening the road, and uh, they're doing new utility lines and sewer lines and everything. So it's like it's open for a while, then it's closed, then it's open, then part of it's closed, then it's uh, the other lanes closed. Oh, it's just a mess. Well, now they got it closed again. So I mean, I could detour to the left here, um, you know, then get on the Market Street here at any point, really. But, unfortunately... Oh, excuse me, damn it! Um... Yeah, unfortunately, um... So, because everybody else is detouring that way, it's making traffic much heavier. And then to top it off, my mom lives in the assisted living facility on Western Reserve Road in Glenwood. So, now to go visit her, I... I gotta go around my ass to get to my elbow, you know, and then getting out of there, the same thing. It's like, uh, what a pain. I mean, it's, I guess this project's gonna be going on for a while. So, I just gotta live with it, I guess. Well, let's see here. Come on, you don't have to stop for a school bus when you're on this opposite side of the road on a four lane. Uh, I hate when people do that. At least in Ohio, if it's a four lane and a school bus stops on the opposite side, you don't have to stop. But you'll get people that stop anyhow and hold you up. So, but yeah, this is uh, approaching the high school. God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna definitely drink some more energy water here. Oh, yeah, staying up that late and getting up at 5.30 is not a good thing. But, what are you gonna do? Well, at least tonight I can go to bed at normal time. And I really wanted to sleep well, too, because I finally shut the AC off and put the windows open. And, uh... Oh, that fresh air coming in, and the little bit of rain we got overnight, pitter-pattering outside. Oh, did I sleep. When that alarm went off this morning, it felt like a semi hitting me. It's like, oh, really? I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> so bad. But, um, oh well. Yeah, this is the uh, front of the high school here. It's to my left. Well, actually, I think it's a couple of their schools. A lot of the schools around here are doing the central thing where it's they put them all together. But I think it's mainly the high school and the one middle school. Uh, it's always kind of slow through here. And once I get past this here sign, I got people pulling out in front of me. Now I can go a little bit faster. a little smoother. But, yeah, that's just some of my drive-in. So, uh, okay, well, hey, I will be back. I'll make the video once I get to the uh, shop and you get to see the nice, fun projects I'm working on, so.
here we are. We're at work. Well, I'm at work. There's a city truck we did. I did the strobes here on the grill. And we put this rolling tunnel cover on. And there's a storage unit underneath that. But yeah, this is it. And over there is the other units that we rent. But okay, be right back. And there's my lunch for today. Uh, yeah, here's the messy shop. And here's what we were working on all day yesterday, pretty much. Uh, this is the cardboard aftermath because all this stuff I'm about to show you came in a box well boxes inside of boxes as you can see we have a shitload of them <sighs> all that's got to be broken up and put in the dumpster at some point uh, this is a Jeep that's a friend of the shops friend of my uh, bosses it's a long-term project. It's getting a ton of stuff done to it. It's going to be here through the holidays and all that. It's kind of one of those things when the parts show up and we have time, we work on it. It's not a priority one vehicle. Anyhow, here's what we did yesterday. This big old electric company van. <sighs> we put all these... First of all, you got to assemble all these storage uh, cabinets. Oh, let me get up in here. Yeah, so they come in <laughs> several boxes. Um, but yeah, they have to be built. The partition had to be put in. But yeah, I guess your storage. You got another drawer here. You got little. Let's see if I could do this. Oh, what? Am I doing this wrong? Yeah. You got little organizer drawers. So, yeah, and it gets this ladder storage. This. Let me come in. You hook a step ladder to it. It's basically elastic cords. And see how that's sprung? You push the ladder into that and then the other half into this one it clamps it up there which is kind of in the way I don't know if I'm into this but they wanted it so they get it but yeah it's got all kinds of plastic storage bins down here and uh, so we did that plus we did some other stuff yesterday I was mostly on this thing and then it gets this roof rack now, this roof rack, as you can see, that's a tall van. I could stand up in it. Granted, I'm only like 5'7 or so. Um, there's still room for my head. So, you ask, ladder roof up there? I mean, how are you going to get ladders down? Well, <laughs> they give you a big stick. You hook it in this. I'll show you later. I'll try to remember to make a video. And that drops down. You tilt it. And these, this is the rear, that's the front. It gets joined by a long pipe, and it gets mounted up there. And what happens is these lower down and drop down the side of the van. And even at that, they only drop so low. So whoever gets the, the luxury of using these vans um, better be a fairly tall person. So what you do, because there's going to be hooks on here, on the ends here and ladder stop hooks up here and you hook the ladder on there then you rotate this rod and there's hydraulic uh, cylinders up under here that help assist it lifting and dropping slowly and it puts it back up top and you lock it up there well this company wants dual drop down so uh, I gotta get the other kit out and I gotta put all this on this side and duplicate it. Now the fun part becomes uh, it's quite heavy. So it takes like everything we've got and then you get a ladder, a big step ladder on either side of this damn thing and do, 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 work it up there 
carefully, and we may even put a third person in the center on a, another ladder, and or the forklift for that matter, and get it up to the roof without dropping it on yourself, gouging the roof. Um, then you got to get it, the front one, all the way, eh, it doesn't go all the way to the front, but it probably goes three quarters of the way um, to the brackets there. And you got to like, uh, like finagle it up there. The rear one's not as bad because once you have it up there, you're pretty much right on the mounting brackets. Uh, they're about a foot in. So, yeah, then the fun part is uh, once you have it up there, everything that needs to be parallel needs to be parallel. And everything that needs to be perpendicular needs to be perpendicular. Um, because if there's a bind on any of this, if they're not perfectly straight and those aren't perfectly straight, it binds up and it won't work quite right or it won't work at all. So... <laughs> You've got to get up there. And because most vehicles today aren't perfectly rectangular, see how, I mean, the roof curves. So even though the strips where you mount it are straight, you still got to finagle a little bit and get everything, you know, if that this side's six and three quarters inches from the edge, that side has to be. Um, it's really a pain in the ass before you could tighten it down and... Uh, yeah, I I really don't like these. I just rather have something where you mount it on the side and just hang them um, on the sides. But it's what they want. So yeah, that's going to be a good part of the day today. And I'm not sure what else we even got. Um, then, uh, of course, you've seen the boss's buggy before. Uh, I'm not sure what that truck's here for. I'll have to look at the schedule. It looked like it got dropped off right when I left. <coughs> left yesterday oh by the way this company's dicky electric they've been around well as far as i back as i can remember but i like this if you, depending on how you look at it it's dick eye electric yeah i work for dick eye electric company yeah i always thought that was kind of funny but uh of course i think with a be with some butthead attitude Hey, fine. Let's go up front here and let's see what's on the schedule before I have to start my horrible day of assembling the rest of that thing. Let's go out to the showroom here and uh, fire up the old our monitor system up there. That shows our security cameras and all that. And let's see what's on the schedule today. Oh, God. Okay, we still have Dickey Electric. I'm not sure if this is another vehicle or not. Oh, that's going to be fun. Then we got rock lights and a grill guard. Really, Mike? Oh, God. It'll be a long-ass day, I can tell you that. I mean, we already got all that, and we got this thing in the back. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Okay, well, I'm going to piddle around here, chill for a while, uh, get this thing uploaded, and by the time you see it, I'll be back there doing the nasty, and not in a fun nasty, literally the nasty.